morning, YouTube. Twenty-one marathon Monday. <sighs> these two, these two, all night long, kept this one up. I don't know what is going on with our dogs, but they just are allergic to sleep. Don't you think? Yeah. It's getting a little bit wearing. I think you're forgiven, Molly. And there's flipping snow outside. There's flipping snow. At this rate, there's gonna be snow on Wednesday. And I do not think I've ever had snow on my birthday. Have you ever had snow on your birthday? No. No? And I don't think I've ever had snow on mine. Like that I've, not that I've lived here at least. Definitely not in Boston, but anyway, let's see what today brings. Everyone eats breakfast with a chihuahua on their lap, right? Yeah. It's it's a mandatory thing. Dewey says, do you get a bite? I get a bite. No, you don't eat oatmeal. It's going to be a long day for you, honey. Mm -hmm. He was up at 2.30, and that was it for me. I'm so sorry. And then Max had to go out. And then Molly needed attention. Yeah, but she settled down. She did. He didn't? It took him a while. But he did. Didn't you, buddy? I love you, I'm sorry. And you know I forgive you, buddy. This is my current morning. No knitting for you, Mama Erin. He's got my hand. I love you so much. 9.56. Time for my second cup of coffee. And last. I generally only drink two cups of coffee a day. Used to be a lot more. But I drink water after this. It's Marathon Monday. And Max is enthralled behind his eyelids. It looks like um, an American is may win for the female. She's on mile 24, and she's a minute and a half ahead of the pack. There she is. Desi something. Linden? She's from San Diego originally. She's going to get a biography lesson. And, yep, Linden. And she's now trains in Michigan, trains and lives in Michigan. Very interesting. I don't typically watch the marathon, but I've been watching it on and off. Um, there is someone running in memory of Seth and in honor of Sadie, so I don't anticipate I'm going to see them on there, but I am cheering for the Miles for Miracles team for Children's Hospital of Boston. So, she looks exhausted. I don't know... I could never do this. Never. Okay, here's a really bad lighting update. I haven't done anything today. I cooked lunch. Put away dishes. I did some laundry. I made the bed. And I got dressed, which is always a big feat. Right now, I am continuing to watch the marathon just in the background. I have Ross on, and I'm working on the sweater that I'm knitting, knitting along with uh, Maureen, Simply More Crafts. Um, that's as far as I've gotten. What time is it? 1.30? 1.10? 130, 130. Um, yeah. Kristen's in her office. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. Generally, the what the wet. <laughs> The weather doesn't bother me too much. If it snows, it snows. If it rains, it rains. If it's sunny, it's sunny. I'd prefer it not to rain because it's kind of depressing. I don't mind it if it rains at night. Um, but I, I this winter's getting to be a little bit much even for me. Um, let me see if I can show you because I didn't show you outside this morning, I don't think. That's all snow. And ice and on top of that the dogs are on like high alert today because the snow and ice was so heavy on the roof we have a standing seam roof that it was falling off and it sounded like something was falling on the house over and over and over and over again so they were barking every 30 seconds I was losing my mind but that ended and now the wind has picked up and we live completely surrounded by 100 foot tall trees. And we've come very close to being hit by one a few years ago. Big tree. Um, knock on wood. We haven't had any fall on the house. But the wind is whipping and whistling out there. So of course the dogs are getting all riled up again but it's very ominous sound and there's nothing you can do but just wait and see if your house is standing at the end of the day. <sighs> I am going to wash up the lunch dishes and empty the dishwasher and I think my wife is coming to add to it. What are your thoughts on this weather? Scaly. We know your thoughts on the weather, Molly. We know your thoughts. <laughs> We you you've expressed them about five thousand times already yeah, today. I just have a lot of thoughts, baby. I know. You're a good girl. But what are your thoughts on the weather, Crystal? Um, I don't particularly care for the wind. Yeah, the, the wind is scary. The wind is the only thing that really concerns me because of the trees. Well, I'm also staring at the bank behind us, so at least I can yell. <laughs> <Run! Tinder! laughs> I just spent. I don't know. I don't know what time it is. Forever up here. Going through the studio because... An hour and a half up here. Going through the studio because no matter what I do, it's always a mess. There's, it just becomes a dumping ground. Because I don't actually work up here too, too much. Because it, it's super cold up here in the winter and it's a sauna up here in the summer. So... The spring and the fall are really the only times that I can work work up here, but I don't know what happens. I am still convinced that gremlins come and mess it up. Now, I haven't bought yarn since before the beginning of the year, with the exception of I bought some yarn with a gift card to knit a sweater for a test knit, and I bought some yarn from the Loopy U because I had some credit that was going to expire, so I got it for free. And I still have all this yarn, which is a lot. I have that polyfill that needs to get put in that hamper. I still have a lot. I could probably knit several more years and not need to buy any yarn. I mean, I have, I think, six sweaters worth of yarn over there. I have a couple sweaters worth of yarn in front of me for Kristen. Yeah, I have a lot of yarn. I have a lot of everything. It's a bit obscene. Um, I also just found this. Some Lion Brand Homespun, which I hate. <laughs> hate. This was probably something that was given to me by someone when I first started crocheting. But I'm going to make another one of those bunnies with this. Or another toy in that family, that, that really soft family. It's a pain in the tushy to work with but the end result was really amazing so okay so before I was so rudely interrupted by Dewey I was saying that I need to put that polyfill away I have some trash I need to bring down on trash day I've got all my stuff lined up for the next time I do a TJF that TJ Maxx bag is the bag of stuff to go downstairs I have it in quasi order for now tomorrow or not tomorrow I still have to tackle the back room 
which is technically the guest room. I'm not going to show you that because there's still a lot of boxes and like packing materials from Christmas. Um, and I got to go through those because if my brother were to come down, I have nowhere for him to sleep because he'd be, pa he'd be sleeping on a box, on a bed of full of boxes, empty boxes. I just need to break them down and put them in the recycling bowl of the trash man, AKA Kristen's dad. Did I ever show you this? This was my first ever embroidery and I was in brownies in elementary school. Kristen <laughs> is dealing with a very indecisive wife. Okay, you want to call it indecisive? <laughs> what do you want to call it? Crabby. Crabby? Yeah. I'm not crabby. <laughs> they were barking a lot. That's not crabby. <laughs> Yeah, so how did we decide what to have for dinner? Um, Erin decided that she found something that she would be willing to eat. <laughs> I said amen. Was it difficult? Yeah. <laughs> you think? Why, why was it difficult? You didn't want anything. I was even willing to cook you my French toast, but no. <laughs> can't have that twice in one week. Why did, Why don't I want French toast, though? Because you said you're having it on your birthday, and if I make it tonight, it'll lose its shininess or something. <laughs> it might lose its shine. Sparkliness, whatever. We don't have it very often. It's a special occasion thing. Or sick thing. Sometimes it's just a thing. Oh. Um, what else, yeah. What other options did we have that I poo-pooed? Soup, grilled cheese, <laughs> macaroni and cheese. <laughs> take out. Take out. <laughs> but I, I didn't want take out because of that. Even though it's a quarter mile down the road. It's more than a quarter mile down the road. To Mike's? No, you said pizza and subs. Well, I don't okay, like that would have been... A mile and a half, two miles. Yeah, it would have been about a mile and a half. About a mile and a half, yeah. yeah. Right. Come on, Maxie. I'll hold him back for you. Is it snuggle time, Maxie? Pre-bedtime snuggles? Can you say goodnight? Do you have a good day, babe? Yeah. Tired? A little bit. Glad. Wait, did you want to say goodnight? <coughs> what would be really good right now? Daddy's food! <laughs> no, an ice cream sundae. Oh, that would be really good right now. They're closed. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, they're. Gosh darn it. Dad gum it. T minus one day to my birthday. Someone is blowing up my phone. That's Lori. What's up? LOL, I'm dying over here, is what she says. All right, say goodnight to the YouTube, babe. Good night. What do you usually say? It makes everybody laugh. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, wrist. No. Peace out, Cub Scout. Yep. For a while, crocodile.